we're on easy street and it feels so sweet because the world is but a treat when you're on easy street welcome to the easy street radio show hosted by rob scribner grab a cup of coffee and let's get started this video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Street. This is episode 40 and today is going to be kind of an interesting show. Uh, first of all, I want to let you know you can find us on Spreaker and a whole bunch of other platforms. Please go down to the description below and you can find all the links where you can find us. Also, uh, don't forget if you're on YouTube to subscribe to our show and hit the little bell icon next to it so you'll be notified every time we have new videos. And uh, on the Rage Rob channel, by the way, there's other subjects that we do too. So some of them you may like, some of you may not. Don't have to watch them, but most of them you should enjoy them all. So today is, my subject is with everything that's going on with the virus and all that stuff is um, my statement will be why are you focusing about what's going on? Why don't you start focusing on where we're going? Got that? Where are we going with all this? So I'm going to go with the with a statement of saying, I don't think it's going to stop. I think this stuff is going to continue. And I think there's going to be more compounded on to all this. Um, and yes, we'll probably touch into faith a little bit. We'll probably touch into uh, um, government stuff a little bit. We'll talk about uh, conspiracy theories, all those kind of things. But mostly, I will be talking about faith. Uh, but this is not going to be like a faith thing. We're going to be talking about prepping too. So uh, uh, bear with me. Uh, open your mind up a little bit. Um, I do want to tell you, please, um, comment and give me your ideas um, whether you're pro or con of whatever I'm saying um, just be professional I appreciate it and I love your comments and uh, uh, a lot of times your comments will inspire what our next show will be about but I'll never be rude so what if all this doesn't change and we're going to constantly be haunted by this this particular uh, thing here but this thing whatever it is, has caused the whole world to shut down. How often does that happen? It almost seems supernatural. Um, but the fact is, economies are crashing. Money will be crashing. Food is being thrown away. There's going to be food shortages. Money is going to be crazy. There may be a, uh, where we're going to have to accept some kind of global system something different maybe we have to do uh, have to put up with uh, tracking systems or maybe get medications into our arms I'm trying to avoid the word V um, these things could be coming along with a lot of natural phenomenons like uh, earthquakes and meteors or um, you know just things we can't explain what if it keeps getting worse and I'm kind of dedicating the show a little bit to a guy named Gene who uh, owns Hamilton Radio who did a show today that um, was talking about the subject and everybody was focusing on who did this, whose fault was it, what country did it come from, why isn't there enough respirators, why isn't there enough that. And I'm just like, enough BS people. It's here, whether we like it or not, it's here. Who caused it? It doesn't change the fact it's here. So what habits are you changing and what's going to change in the future? And I think a lot of things are going to uh, change in the future. One of the comments he uh, mentioned in the show is what would people 150 years ago have done if something like this was happening, which they have gone through some of it. And believe me, there was lots of corruption and government issues back in those days too. But I think we're going to get into more of a survival of the fittest. I know. That's not the kind of comment you want to hear, especially me. I'm not that young. I have older parents. Uh, they're uh, in their 80s. Um, uh, they would not fare well. Uh, what if our health systems go down to minimal, um, either by the fact that we can't afford it 
or it's just not support anymore or or people passed away there's not enough doctors or nurses or etc what if our economy crashed so much that we actually have to think about a global system what if we have to be tracked who has the virus who doesn't who's got a vaccination who hasn't i'm going to be talking a lot we're going to need some water so uh what if we get into a different kind of mode a paradigm shift law of attraction kind of thing of maybe the uh, the world's fighting back against us or the nature's fight, fighting back against us because we're not exactly the most pure people what if our faith has got something to do with this seems to me there's a book out there that tells us exactly what's going to happen and it seems to be happening and uh, in a few weeks or months just from this video alone it may be like oh, yeah Rob uh, since then maybe we've had major earthquakes or maybe we actually had a anomaly like the Atlas um, uh, comet going by and it actually affected our um, our earth our magnetosphere and, and our weather and and uh, we this viruses seem like nothing compared to the rest of the things that could happen but there's a book out there that tells you all about this and tells you why it's happening and what you're supposed to do so uh, uh, I guess the other thing is well I want to see people die well that's a whole nother subject is dying that bad I mean we're all gonna die it's whether we have faith enough or looking up or believe in our Christ enough to realize that this is just nothing compared to what's coming that's better for us which is eternal life and all this aches and pains and sorrows are be gone hunger gone health issues gone all that stuff gone for eternity unless you don't believe in your faith and your Creator or Jesus um, you could be living a long eternal life in a really bad way <laughs> but if you're curious all you have to do is start reading uh, there's a book out there I think they call it the Bible uh, actually the last chapter tells you everything is going on now if you're not one that reads one of those things that, uh, that often get a let's online on the internet there's lots of great ministers that talk about prophecy and all that kind of stuff that help and determine or uh, uh, go through those chapters that you need to know about and interpret them so you understand what you're reading because some of it if you're not a avid bible reader you'll be a little bit confused <laughs> i mean and uh, so i've had to listen to all kinds of different uh, sp speakers just to understand what I read in the last chapter anyway it's one way to look at it so let's switch gears a little bit let's talk about prepping so whether you have faith or not or or energetic or um, a future planner um, someone who doesn't dwell on poor me the now and, and is a little bit of visionary if these things are coming to pass um, and our economy gets bad money is crazy food is hard to get ask yourself if you can imagine that kind of world good bad or indifferent maybe it's better who knows um, it, it could be a lot of hardship and a whole and us Americans are used to a kind of a lifestyle that a lot of people in the world don't haven't lived so we're having a hard time interpreting this where in other countries they go well that's how it is now you know they scrape for every meal they uh, their families important to them as a family unit uh, their lifestyles are totally different than ours um, so we're gonna have a hard time here in the United States understanding how to deal with this stuff but the big part is planning so I mean if you if you can imagine some of the stuff and if you've read what I've read and understand what I've read there's a few things you need to prepare uh, first of all it doesn't say sit there and wait for God to save you just be aware it's coming it the signs are here look up 
uh, defend him and be willing to die for him. No matter how it turns out, the after you die, your life really just begins. If you just remember that. So being afraid of death is one thing you need to overcome. Uh, is, um, I guess to me, it would be quality of death. <laughs> I, I don't. It is what it is. Whatever my purpose is, is, is whatever. But that also means prepping means first understanding your faith, um, understanding what your mission is. Always uh, uh, try to get people recognized to the creator. Two is if food gets tough, do you have extra food? Um, can't, do you have, you know, can you filter water? Do you have something to defend your family? Even in the most religious phase all around the world, there was times where they had to defend themselves against either greedy people or evil people. Can you do all that? And if you can't, why can't you? Now, I'm some physical limitations and things like that, but if there isn't those kind of limitations about even money, um, if done right, you can do some of the stuff very cost effective. Uh, first of all, do you have a weapon? Do you have ammunition? Those just to defend yourself if needed. Hopefully you never have to. But it could come to that. If food gets scarce and you've got food stored away and you're living, people are going to want what you have and you're going to have to defend it. And you can't be out and about if things get tough. The last thing you want to do is be away from your home or your uh, bug out place or whatever. Um, you want to avoid people because you're out in the open and you're defenseless. You want to stay home. You want to be in your prepped area. You want to be in your bug out spot, wherever that place may be and be willing to defend it. And God would be right by your side. He understands. He even tells in many stories of uh, great cities building walls around themselves to, def uh, to, to protect their cities. So same thing. So uh, the point is um, you can either woe is me, I'm going to die and, and hope somebody saves me. And you're going to realize that we're going to get into a lifestyle that there's no one there to save you. There may be a couple of handouts here and there, but from day to day life, it's up to you and your family unit and friends and community you may have put together. Learning how to grow things, learning how to uh, maybe this mark system that if you know what I'm talking about, will come along and you know it to be for sure that mark system, you know you need to avoid that. And so that means you'll be going without or suffering or being hunted down all for your faith. And actually that's in the book too. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> and if you happen to die for that faith, that's all good too. So, um, Anyway, uh, this is a show to get you to pull your head out of your, your ass, <laughs> out of the dirt. <laughs> okay, put it that way, and look and look up. That's one thing it says to do. Second is, don't just sit there. Do something. Find out why this might be happening to us. There's there's a there's information of why this is happening, and and then. Uh, Finding out why will tell you how you must live. So uh, that's the other thing. And two is prepare. You know it's coming. It's written. You know this is coming. This lifestyle we have right now could dramatically change. They call it a paradigm shift. We were raised. We we're This is a habit of life that we've been brought up in. And when it all changes, we either are like fish out of water flopping or... You're going to grow some feet and <laughs> stand in two legs and start doing something um, or perish. And you may perish because of the circumstances, but if you have the right faith, you'll be okay. Is it 
right? No. Is it nice? No. Is it, uh, it's no different than life 200 years ago and thousands before that. It's only in this recent 100 years that we've had this exceptional life and maybe living longer than uh, most of us would normally because of, uh, of our health services and, uh, and technology. Um, but really, the world's history has been more of survival, survival of the fittest even. Um, it's not, it doesn't leave a good taste in your mouth other than you know it's natural. And uh, maybe what's all happening here is natural. It's the way things should be. And there's also another way of looking at nature has a way of, if it doesn't, to right its wrongs. If there's something we're doing to the, to the world, which to myself, to me, it's part of the creator. But if you want to look at it, just the earth is like shaking us up saying, uh, there's too many of you or you're hurting me. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of some things that you have that are hurting me and we're going to start over. Um, it could be, you could look at it that way for you atheists out there, I guess, whatever. Um, but uh, I think the life that we have right now, even for me to do this show, uh, may be limited. Maybe our speech is going to start getting uh, uh, blocked, our freedom of speech, and um, maybe things will get controlled more. Maybe this kind of stuff won't exist anymore. I'll be an old archive. Um, so speak out while you can. Do your mission, as the Bible says. Um, pass on the word and get people curious. If you're curious of what's going on, it's written down. And if you, starting with the last chap chapter, will probably confuse you a lot. I would do it along with some minister online that you feel comfortable with. I recommend a guy named Tom Hughes. Um, he has a really good program, which is down to earth. Uh, Paul Bigley's fun, but he can be out there a little bit. But he'll teach you also what what's going on. Um, and there's a lot of other great prophecy shows and ministers out there that will help educate you what the Bible says. Because really, it's not what man says. It's not your religion. Religion is man-made. It's if you just live your life to that book and what's in that book, you're on the right course. Um, and then uh, practicality, common sense, looking forward, changing your paradigm, learning how to defend for yourself, how to cook, how to grow things, how to be self-reliant. That is what you should be learning right now. Dwelling on what's going on right now and whose fault it is will get you nowhere. Seriously, you will just be up all night trying to figure out who did this to us. It's here. And then, you know, our, to have 30% unemployment, to have all these businesses shut down, no way will things be the same after this. Food shortages, meat shortages, which is the same thing. Yes, I know. Um, learning to be a little self-reliant. Learn how to grow a few things in your little yard. I have a little yard. And I've turned most of that backyard into something that can grow food. Simple things. Grow the things you like. Strawberries. I can grow uh, strawberries here. I'm in Arizona. Um, sugar peas, hardy things, tomatoes, uh, potatoes. Learn how to grow potatoes. Hey, in the Depression days, potatoes was the thing to live on. It was cheap and filled you up. So, uh, yeah. No, no booze, just water. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is food for thought. I love to hear your comments. Um, what are you doing? Are you dwelling on this? Are you angry? Do you think it's not fair? Are you planning ahead? Are you trying to roll with the punches? Yes, a lot of us are going to be we're low on money. I've, I've had to cut some of my services already before 
I actually get in trouble and have financial problems. I had to shut down my radio station, which, um, which was Good Talk Radio, because of the cost. I can afford it right now, but two, three months from now, to be paying for that, um, I may have to cut um, little things that we, my pool services in Arizona, it's like everybody has that. Um, landscapers, I have to do my own stuff. Um, real common down here in Arizona, I have those services. Need to cut it, cut it now before, uh, before I get in trouble, not after. And that's what I'm bringing up in the show. Are you doing, are you reacting to the now? Are you planning for the future? The new life, the change. I don't think we're going back to the way it used to be. I will miss it. You're going to miss it. We're all going to miss it. But it's kind of meant to be. We know this is coming. For those of us of faith, we knew this is coming. We know that there's going to be a, a new system. We know there's going to be a real power struggle. We know that there's going to be a supreme kind of person that starts showing up and sounds like he has all the answers and we're all going to go, yay. And they're going to implement systems and tracking systems. And well, only way we can, uh, our, our money will be useless. Maybe we'll be all digital. Um, we could be hunted down for our faith. Maybe they just don't want people of faith because we're too independent. We're too hardy. Maybe all of us of faith will disappear. Poof. Could happen. It's suggested in that book that it could happen. So uh, could happen soon. Could be right in the middle of things or towards the end of things. So anyway, I know this is kind of a thick show. And I know it was deep. But uh, it's one way of looking at it. I'm just bringing up that, are you ready for a paradigm shift? Are you ready for a new life? Good, bad, or indifferent? Are you prepared for that new life? Are you have the mindset that we could lose some really good friends and relatives because of the circumstances? Are you strong? And do you have strong faith? And can you hold on to that faith no matter what happens to you? That is what you need to prepare for. So I'm Rob Scribner. I want to thank you for listening to Easy Street. Uh, please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos. Please leave your comments below. Good, bad, or indifferent. But please be professional. That's all I ask. And guys, until next time. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.